Okay, so here's the new FAB UPDI board. This is the latest version of it, which does have the correct layout for the FTDI and servo layouts for the pins here, but I've got all the pins labeled, so it's really easy to see. Um, the next thing is I'm gonna show you how to program it. So the first thing that I need to tell you is, again, this is the older version of the board. The newer version won't be connected uh, backwards, but I've got an ISP here and this board is based off of an Atmega 328. So it's essentially just an Arduino. Um, that's basically it. And so it's, it's kind of like the Satya kit. So you need to program it with the ISP to get the code on there to begin with. And that will then convert this into a UDPI programmer. So you can use this to program other boards. Before you do that, make this and then I'm going to show you how to test it really quick. So the first thing you want to do is I have a uh, LED built on there. So I'm going to go to uh, basics blink and the LED is built in on pin, pin 13. So I'm good to go. I'm going to go to my tools, uh, trying to show you here. Uh, I've got the right port selected. I've got, it's an Arduino Uno and I'm gonna pick my ISP programmer. If you have a fab ISP, you'll use the USB tiny up here. Let me zoom in for you. There we go. So that's the USB tiny for the fab ISP. You can use an Arduino as an ISP as well. Um, I'm using the uh, STK500. So uh, once I have that, I'm gonna burn this blink sketch to it. So I'm gonna click on sketch and upload using programmer. If you just use upload, it won't work because it, it can't communicate uh, that way yet. Not until we put the uh, Arduino bootloader on it. There you go, I was successful. And now if I flip it over, you can see I've got that pin 13 indeed blinks. That's good. Now I'm not using pin 13 to talk to anything uh, later on down the road. Like I'm using these other pins down here to talk to a target board. This is the little blinky uh, board that I made. So I wanna make sure that that pin is working correctly. So what I'm gonna do is change the LED built-in here. Should be to pin uh, six. And I'm gonna program this again using the programmer. All right, and I just have an LED and a resistor here on a board, a breadboard, just so that, oops. There we go. Just so that I can tell that the pin that I actually am gonna to connect to a target board will be able to, oh, let me zoom out again. There we go. So this is the pin that is gonna to talk to my target AT Tiny boards. So everything's looking good so far. Now I wanna go ahead and make this into the programmer that it needs to be. So I'm gonna open the project, uh, fab, uh, what's it called, uh, JTAG to UPDI, and I'm gonna open that Arduino project. Okay, so please ignore the cat. Um, so it looks blank, but it's not. I'm gonna go to sketch, upload using programmer, and that's gonna be successful. Okay, last step. I'm gonna take this off here. And there is a pin that I need to cut. And it's right here, it's called the jumper. And you'll see it whenever you look at the actual files. So I cut that pin with a razor knife, being very careful. Now I can use a standard FTDI since we have hundreds of those. And I'm gonna plug that in here. Now with the new version of the board, this is gonna plug in just like that. Because I've got the old version, I gotta flip it around. So no problem there. Now I'm gonna plug this guy in. and I can plug in my target board. So the way that I've got my pins wired up here, 
I like this to be um, a little bit different. Now, again, I've got it laid out on the new board with pins uh, labeled so you can see that. So you can see here, I had already programmed this board. It's got a little blink, but it's a fast, fast blink. I'm gonna go back to my blink example and I'm gonna change this pin number here to pin number five on all of these areas because on this board, it's pin five that's connected to an LED. I'm gonna change, oh, I'm gonna zoom in here so you could see. I'm gonna change the board to a ATtiny412. That takes a second. Then I'm gonna change my port to the new COM port. And my programmer now critically needs to be changed to JTAG to UPDI. Now I can click upload and what should happen is this LED will start blinking on for a second, off for a second. Okay, well, it's off. I bet I got the wrong pin number. So let me look at the pin numbers and verify. Ah, I was wrong. It's pin number zero on this board. So I'm gonna go back, pin zero, pin zero, pin zero. I'm gonna program it again. Now you could tell that the programmer worked because the LED stopped blinking. Uh, I just had the code wrong. So now I've programmed it to do the correct blinky and we're good to go. So that is how you would do this.